Well, hey guys, welcome back to Waters Family Homestead. Just wanted to show y'all what I've done. I did get my cover back up. I got to find some more screws. I've lost some of them. I got my little sheetrock over the hole for the wires coming through. And I got some five inch duct and sealed it to the fan here with foil tape all the way around, put a hole through the wall. Now I've got to get some kind of collar or something to go here to make it look a little better. But what I've found is when this inverter's running and the fan kicks on, but you know, cause it needs to cool itself down. I have to leave this little power room, utility room closet door open. And since I added all this on in the back of the house inside it, you know, the hallway's kind of small, big enough, but kind of small. And uh, it just gets in the way. I don't like it being open all the time. But I needed it open so the inverter could get cooler air. I do not have central air in this house. So if I put a vent in here, it wouldn't be that big a deal. But uh, I needed to be able to, to get fresh air. So what I've done, you see it could suck under the door. But I put in two vents down here at the bottom, straight across from each other in that little wall. As you can see here so that it can pull fresh air through the wall and then I added this pipe up here and came out the exterior of the wall so I've got to figure out how I'm going to cover that with some kind of grill to make it look better but that blows the heat from the inverter out of that room and allows it to suck the cooler air from the floor into the room and this thing has fans built in it to where it pulls air in this side so that'll help it come across the room you know pull it in and up and back out so that it can stay cool and I don't have to have this door open so that was the idea it took me a couple of hours to do that of course I wasn't in a big hurry either but um, I just finished shop backing up the the sheetrock dust and all it did switch over while I was working to online to charge the batteries back up but you know, like I've said in past videos, I do not have enough batteries or solar panels. I'm not far off, but I don't have enough. And uh, running the air conditioning drains the batteries fairly fast. So this morning it was on the battery bank on the off-grid power. And it lasted up until about 5 o'clock today. So... Basically, it was charging when I went to bed, or almost done, actually. And uh, so I'm, I'm assuming it switched about midnight to the off-grid power. And then it lasted till 5 o'clock today. But that's running the air conditioner in the bedroom and the, the bigger one in the kitchen to keep the house relatively cool. So that's, you know, that consumes a lot of the power. Therefore, I need to increase my number of panels to charge the batteries back up faster. And I need to increase the number of batteries so i've got longer run time when i'm high demand uses like the air conditioners and stuff but either way i wanted to show y'all what i did i mounted this outside the room so you can see on here everything about the system it's taking 243 volts in from the grid the batteries are currently at 12.3 volts it's putting out 240 volts 61 hertz so it tells you it's online, which means it's drawn from the grid to charge a battery bank up. And that's the battery level. So they get up to about 13.5, 13.4 and 13.6. And then it'll switch back to the off grid automatically. I don't ever have to fool with it. Um, a lot of people have suggested that I try to use the power saver feature. The problem with that is as low power consumption as modern electronics are like the stove, the clock you know for the stove and cell phone chargers and that kind of thing that's not enough power to wake the inverter up to make it run and if it did you've always got something drawing a little bit of power so that power saver mode really doesn't help if you've got things plugged in that need power now if you just had a refrigerator plugged in that's going to come on when you know an old style refrigerator by with a manual thermostat that'll kick on yeah it would uh monitor that and save you a little bit of usage but the inverter doesn't use enough to make a big difference but either way just wanted to do a quick video and show y'all 
I've got that closed up now. Now I can focus on getting a grill for, you know, something to cover this as a louver vent, kind of like those. That's just a ceiling uh, grill vent for air conditioning in your house. So now I can focus on getting the mud and tape and that stuff done and finishing the sheetrock so that it looks a little better. But it's out of the way and I can close that door now, which opens the hallway back up a little bit and uh maybe it'll look a little better and you see I, i'm not the best sheetrock guy in the world but the corner trim will cover all that up in mud and be fine so anyway thank you guys for watching i do appreciate it if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe i do have some playlists um one on my off-grid power system and one on clearing the land out there getting ready for the goat pen you know and i probably need to make a few more but if, if you want to see more just let me know and i'll i'll see what i can do about it thank y'all for watching Hit the thumbs up if you enjoy the content. I do appreciate it. And that fan's kicked on now. It's blowing air straight out. I can feel it back over here. So I was kind of worried that it may hold the air back, but it's only an 18 inch long piece of pipe. It's not that big. So either way, thank y'all. Remember what I always tell you, Jesus Christ loves you. And so do I. Y'all be safe. Be prepared.